A high school from Milwaukee County sending a team of students to Texas to compete in the First World Robotics Championships. Yeah, this is really exciting stuff. The St. Thomas More Robotics team hopes to continue its dominating season down south. Aaron Mabin went to the workshop to get a closer look at their big success. This whizzing and whipping robot is a man-made machine built to win. Our robot is a lot faster than other robots out there. Pride from members of the Moore Robotics team at St. Thomas Moore High School. They made this robot from scratch. Cut the cube, 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 cube. Sam Moore and Alex Fleming use video game controllers to drive and maneuver. The purpose of the robot is to essentially pick up one of these and put them into one of these scoring locations. Watch as a claw clinches cones and basically sucks in purple cubes. Strategy gets really deep, especially in a game like this where it's essentially nine by three tic-tac-toe. The actual field that we compete on is like the size of like a basketball court. And they say the robot's actual speed is much faster. Cone, good cone. More Robotics recently won two major regional competitions. And later this month, they will head to Houston for a world championship. I'm just hoping that we can represent more robotics and Wisconsin as best as we can and hopefully get the win. A team and their robot preparing to go head to head with other machines. This year has been beyond my wildest expectations. At St. Thomas More High School, Aaron Maben, Fox 6 News. Oh, well, good luck to them. Such a neat creation there. The robotics championship begins on April 19th. When the team isn't designing and competing, well, they're learning how to actually write grants and papers to win other awards.